Hello Metrics, and welcome to the third video on Calculus, brought to you by the Answer Series. In this video, we will be looking at finding derivatives from first principles. We are going to look at the gradient at a point. Now, the fancy word for gradient is a derivative. So if you ask to find the derivative of a graph, you are actually finding the gradient. So what we want to do is we want to find the gradient at this point. In other words, we want to get the gradient of the tangent to the graph at that point. Now we know that the gradient is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. But I can only use that formula if I have two points. I only have one point. So what I'm going to do, I want to find the gradient at this point. So I take another point and I'm now going to get the average gradient between these two points. In other words, I'm going to get the gradient of the straight line joining those two points. So how do I get the gradient of the straight line joining those two points? Well, the length of this line is y1 minus y2. The length of this line is x1 minus x2. So the average gradient between those two points is there. The x's cancel at the bottom, and I get that. Now, the average gradient between these two points is not the gradient at this point. So what I do is I take this point and I move it closer and closer and closer to the other point. Because then if I take the gradient between this point and a point very, very close to it, the average gradient between those two points is getting closer and closer to the gradient of the tangent. So how do I take this point closer and closer to the other point? Well, I make h very, very small. And how do we show that you're making h very small? I write it as the limit as h tends to naught of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So this is finding the average gradient between the two points. And this is saying make the two points very, very, very close to each other. Now, if we talk about a derivative from first principles, a derivative is a gradient. From first principles means from the basic definition. So what we are trying to do is we're trying to find the gradient at a point. And the formula we used that we developed on the previous slide was that. Notice my notation for a derivative. I've used f dash x. That is one of the ways of showing a derivative. Now, this is not to be confused. You've come across f to the minus 1 of x in functions. And f to the minus 1 of x means an inverse of a function. So you've got to be very careful and know the difference between f to the minus 1 of x and f dash x. f dash x is the derivative, in other words, the gradient. I've got an example for you. I've given you f of x equals 3x squared. And I want you to do five questions on it. Just remember, if I want f of x plus h, it means in place of x, I put x plus h. So in place of this x, I will put x plus h. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to try these five questions and then we will do them together. f of x plus h. So in place of this x goes x plus h. I square the bracket and multiply by 3 and I get that. In 1.2 I ask you for f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now I've got f of x plus h over here so there's my f of x plus h. I want to minus f of x, 
which is there, all over H. What I then do is I collect together like terms on the top, I factorise the top, and the H's cancel, and I get 6X plus 3H. I now ask you for the limit as H tends to naught of the fraction you've just got. So it's the limit as H tends to 0 of 6x plus 3h. If I make h closer and closer to 0, what does this become closer and closer to? The answer is 6x. So what I've done is the following. Given the curve of f of x equals 3x squared, I have found a formula for the derivative. I found a formula for the gradient of the curve. Now if you think of riding a bicycle on this curve, so you're riding a bicycle, it's downhill very very steeply, getting shallower and shallower and shallower till it's flat at the bottom, then going uphill, shallow for the beginning, getting steeper and steeper and steeper. So the gradient of my graph is changing at all times. And this 6x is a formula for finding the gradient at any specific point. So if I ask you for f-2, that means I want you to find the gradient of this graph at x equals 2. So I want you to find the gradient of the tangent line at the point x equals 2. Well, I've got a formula, 6x. So all I do is I say 6 times 2, which is 12. So the gradient of the curve, the derivative, at the point x equals 2, is 12. What if I ask you for f dash minus 1? So that means I want the gradient of the curve at x equals minus 1. So I want the derivative at minus 1. There's the formula for the derivative at any point. So the derivative at minus 1 is 6 times minus 1, which is minus 6. You should now have a basic understanding of finding a derivative. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series, your key to exam success.